him and I'm at it again The crystal arrow calling my name Down a gravel road, box full of fur And a mystery in the next deal were Catching the first made me a believer What a day, guys. What a season. There's a bunch of snow geese flying over. There you can hear them. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning. We're heading out early. Get as much of this stuff ran today before... Uh, I go to my in-laws for Thanksgiving at noon, so by 11 o'clock we need to be home and getting showered up, so praying for the first time ever we don't catch a skunk today, uh, but probably won't do a whole lot of filming until we get daylight, but got a nice little drizzle of rain last night. I did not see that coming. Luckily I left my windows up in my truck, but got a little bit of a, a head cold this morning. Not bad, but just, it's there, but... That should be a good morning. 44 degrees it says, but yet I can see my breath, so that's weird. Uh, nice little rain. Hopefully it's a good day again, guys. Hopefully we're hitting 50s again, but time to get going. Well, we had a double here yesterday. Uh, just this trail right here. Unfortunately, the coon didn't jump out of the road like I like him to again. That's all right. Not the biggest coon in the world. I'll tell you what guys, I am really struggling today on Thanksgiving. I did not sleep well last night. Uh, probably just because I knew I had to get up early. Had to be moving quick today. I just kept waking up all through the night thinking I need to get going, I need to get going. And it would be like 1.30 in the morning. So, so I am definitely, definitely struggling. Uh, being that tired, I'm not going to lie. I'm just frustrated. Everything's wet this morning. Everything's slick. Uh, the catch so far is not the greatest. There we go. Get that a little more angled up. Well, that's part of it, guys. Uh, you're not just battling the elements trapping like this, you're battle, battling yourself. Uh, tiredness, frustration, fatigue, all those things. So, not a very big one, but first 220 coon of the day. Awful lot of cows down here where uh, I had that triple the other day, but we're not there yet. Uh, this is the spot we set right before we got to that area. Uh, really nice coon. Definitely a little slower today, but that's all right. Uh, like I said in the last one, exhaustion, not sleeping well, frustration, everything's wet. Uh, I had 220, I was trying to set, my finger slipped off. Um, snapped pretty good, didn't catch me, but that spring snapped my knuckle pretty good. And it just, one of those things you gotta stop and take a breath because the more frustration and the more pissed off you get, the worse you're gonna do. Your head's not in the game, and more importantly, you're not being safe about things. If I get all mad, rush around with these 220s, or even jumping in and out of the truck on some of these roads, uh, you know, I could get hurt pretty bad. So, it's time to just take a breath. I know we're in a rush day to get Thanksgiving, but just take a breath and, you know, just kind of mellow out a little bit because that's the best thing to do. I can check these later in the dark if I have to, but not worth getting myself hurt over and, and doing something stupid so glad to be throwing another one in the truck uh got a lot of ground to cover yet today hello ladies nope nothing Wow, never been so uh, 
so desired before. You guys look hungry. <laughs> Tell you what, this guy with the uh, cattle lot right here, it's got a lot of big coon running to it. Uh, he's got like three farms here across about a mile and uh, boy, I'm just, <laughs> I'll pick up six or seven coon just on this mile about every day it seems like. So it's picking up a little bit. Um, Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go be getting a new pellet gun at some point soon because mine's dying out. But get him taken care of and get out of here. Oh, believe it or not, this is not what I wanted to see today, especially as prone and alert as he is. So, uh, is what it is. Just something slow me down a little more, but we'll get him taken care of and we'll get out of here. So, just uh, one of those deals. <laughs> I swear somebody up there hates me. I love skunks, but this is not what I wanted today. I'm already gonna be in a lot of trouble because I can smell skunk now, so. <sighs> it is what it is. We'll figure out how to take care of this one. Uh, hopefully it goes a little better than the last one, but. <sighs> rough day, fellas, rough day. Well, now things are starting to pick up a little bit. We went skunk, coon, and now we got another coon here. Not the biggest, but uh, I had a double here yesterday. This is our second check on this area. So coming down this uh, pasture ground, we got kind of a uh, hay storage up here and pasture ground behind me with corn on the other side of that. So just a good little funnel point for everything to come through. Be a real good canine spot as well. I oh, we got one hiding on us here. Uh, pretty decent coon. Uh, we started on our back section, our number three section this morning. It was the farthest from home. Uh, that way I'm doing the stuff that's close to home when I cut it short to go to get cleaned up for Thanksgiving. Um, assuming I'm going right now. Uh, the skunks, uh, yeah, my wife's going to be thrilled. Let's just say that. Oh, he was climbing up in the tree. Or up the fence here. Pretty decent little coon. We've taken three off this stretch for that next hill, so uh, not great, but you know it's, it's picking up. So and that's where we're after. Just some monster trees here. You know that's probably what his landmark was, and it wasn't a, a killer trail going through here, but there's definitely a little trail coming through, and we made our first catch on it today. So not bad at all. Well, this is where we had the guy start covering up my stuff. I left him that note yesterday. Uh, Pierce, he got my message. Um, nothing was touched here. I wish he would have left me my muskrat stretcher. Uh, <laughs> I put the sign on, but that's all right. Um, hopefully now he knows and we don't have any more issues. Uh, like I said, I wasn't going to get the law involved unless it continued. Um, you know, maybe he thought he was trying to do me a favor. I see a lot of coyote guys that, you know, people out in the field shoot their coyotes with like a... <laughs> like a 308 and stuff thinking they're helping out these trappers and that's not the case and maybe he was just doing the same thing uh so always i'll always assume people have good intentions i guess it's a trait of mine that definitely has come back to bite me many times especially here recently uh but just you know i can't always assume he was out to hinder me so hopefully it's taken care of now i'll get this coon out of here and uh head to section one we're wrapping up section three I smell like skunk, I'm in big trouble, but we got a lot of stuff to get done yet. Well, we had some more theft here. Uh, had a trap set right here. Uh, you can even see, if I can find it on the camera, some blood. Uh, someone got it. Uh, it is what it is. Can't sit here and stew on it, gotta keep moving. So we got a lot of ground to cover yet, but theft is definitely starting to pick up a little bit. Big old rooster in the middle of the road. same one I saw here a couple days ago I filmed well we got us our first double of the day now uh, this actually hadn't produced anything yet a uh, newer piece that I found this year uh, I'm happy for that I need it just trying to like I said slow down regroup a little bit get my head straight on this and move on um, 
It was kind of a, a rough day, rough start anyway. So we'll get these guys taken care of and get out of here. I love pulling up and just seeing that little mask pop up over the ridge there. It was just sitting there looking at me, but I love pulling up and seeing that. We caught one here yesterday. Well, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Uh, real good size anyway. A little browner than we like, but uh, starting to pick up a little bit here. Uh, this is that fence line going down, crossing the road. And like I said, there's an awesome trail under that cedar tree. I probably should have put a snare there, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyway, we'll get this coon load up in the truck and get rolling. This is three days in a row. This little shrub tree is produced, guys. Uh, makes me really think I should have more than just one trap here, but uh, we'll get him take care of get out of here. We're hustling, guys. We only got about an hour and a half where I gotta be home, so. <sighs> well, I'm definitely thinking it's the day of the possums. Uh, that's a big old white one. He's kind of cool. Big old white possum. Uh, not like the white one I caught earlier, but I really should have checked to see how many more I needed. Uh, I've got an order for 200 of these things, and um, I know I was getting close, really close. So I need to figure out that tonight, sit down and figure out exactly how many more of these I need. Uh, but anyway, this is the spot we caught a couple coon, no, one coon, I think. Uh, just going back there, this trail goes to the tree, crosses the road, it's big bottom here. We got corn up here on the right. Uh, just a really, really good location. Real subtle trail, but always catches. Some I've ever seen that. Possum doesn't have a tail, just a little nub. That's crazy. There we go. Now we got another 220 animal. Pretty good sized coon, really. So he was coming from the road down, which means he avoided my dog proof on the other side. Sometimes they just don't, aren't interested. Uh, that's why I love these 220s, but you know, you don't want to get so close to houses with them and uh, to be legal. This wasn't much of a trail. It pretty well got destroyed by the elements. How about you just find my stretcher? I got a spare one in the truck. You know, surprisingly, I don't lose many of these. I'll lose maybe three or four a year. Uh, but I was running, you know, 130, 140 uh, Kana bears. This year's a lot more, and I think that might be the second one I've lost. So, not terrible. So we got a brushed in here pretty good, but I wanna make sure they're not gonna deviate off this trail anywhere else. Like right here, there is no cover at all. So I'm gonna kinda funnel that trail, um, make them wanna stay on it down here and not cut over where I'm standing. So, it's a pretty nice one. Hopefully get about 40 more like that today. We've had a double here every single day. Well, for three days, I should say, but uh, he got tangled up on that root down there, which isn't good. We're gonna have to get that snapped off, but I mean, it's a possum, but it's still a double. So I'll take it underneath this cedar tree. We got corn behind us. I really got to wash the truck today. That's bad. That's real bad. But anyway, nice coon here. All right. We got us another one here going up to this, uh, oh, this little feed lot up here. But this is the road that I really like, guys. So we got a set here. We've got sets down here. We've got sets in the next little piggyback. We've got sets on top of the hill. We got them on the next hill. And we've got them up there by the tree on the far left, way up there. So this is like five locations in 400 yards. Perfect situation. Um, 
you know these are the roads i'm looking for and it's all timber to timber so i can sit on this all year long Woo. and here we are with a monstrous double monstrous double uh my third dog proof definitely was a little too close and he uh got that tangled up um but we're just up here about where those cows are on the right that's where he just caught one uh you know this piggyback the next one it's just an awesome awesome road and this is what we need boy this is getting frustrating we got us a possum double in 220s ah <sighs> these dang possums it is what it is uh, great bottom here you know we're still on that road that really good road that i was just talking about uh Got a drop up here by the tree and the next little piggyback. Just an awesome, you know, awesome big picture location. Right. We are on our last segment here at Thanksgiving with the in-laws. We are running out of time. It is four o'clock and this is about a two hour section. Uh, first stop though, we got some nice coon. Going up to beans, but this road, we've got two or three good spots on. Uh, normally when it's corn, it's a lot better, but I'll still pick up probably five or six coon out of this 200 yard stretch so get him taken care of and we're gonna be hustling finally connected on a coon on this 220 not a greatest trail in the world guys but normally this trail looks a lot better but it's just not this year that's all right first coon on it hopefully many more question was, uh, there's my stabilizer. No, it's here somewhere. Get it kind of brushed in the best we can. Ain't the prettiest, but it's gonna have to work. And wouldn't you know it, this back half is actually starting to produce, or, well, it's not typically our back half, but we got us a massive double here. Um, massive double. That's awesome. That's five coon on this section. We just started it. We had 12 yesterday, guys. So, sun's getting low. We got to hustle. Seems to be how this works. I get in a time crunch, and we catch these freaking skunks. I love them, but not today, guys. Not today. Uh, we caught quite a few coon on this little fence line cutting across the corn behind me. Great little spot. We've got six coon already, guys. That's insane. Well, I'll tell you the positive thing about this. You see it, uh, gorgeous Iowa sunset. But it seems like every single spot we go, we are connecting right now, guys. Holy cow. It's like I can't miss. This is just insane. This is number 14, just in this section. Like I said, yesterday was 12. But he hopped out of the way just like I like him to. And hopefully in about an hour and a half, we got another one. All right, last coon of the day, guys. Uh, sorry if you can't see it really well. It's a really nice big coon down here. Uh, gorgeous sunset. We're hustling today, guys. We're hustling. Took time to, to you know, go have Thanksgiving, but we were a hustling. It is late. Uh, good day, though. Not sure I end up with. We'll get home and take a look. Uh, but we are, we've got the two of the boxes pretty well full. So it's a good day, guys. Good day. Good old Iowa sunset. Nothing I love more than in the evenings, especially in the summer. Sitting down, 
having a drink watching that sun go down I dream of retiring and being able to just every evening sitting there watching that sun go down what can I say I'm a romantic well guys it's gonna be pretty hard to tell here uh, we came home with 48 coon uh, 48 plus 624 is 72 so 672 i'm really glad we didn't end with 42 on today uh so six yeah 672 uh one of my biggest possum days it's hard to tell but they're in the back of my truck i counted 21 possum uh definitely a huge day uh really good that back half of the line there just really really hammered them uh so i'm really happy with that uh been a long day though long day and as full as i was at lunchtime i'm getting hungry again so we might try to uh yeah try to set out a little bit more tomorrow i've got five days left of vacation i still got some virgin ground out there i need to get to so should be a big couple days uh while during thanksgiving day at my in-laws i found out they had muskrats in their pond so grabbed some colonies went back over there and set some colony traps on their pond for them uh, and then one had to swim out and just kind of entice me, but good day guys. Good day. 672. I see 700 pretty easy tomorrow. And hopefully I, I hope to get to close to 900 by the time I go back to work. So be a good, good start. Good start. But anyways, we're going to get cleaned up and get out of here guys. Thank you.